Olivia and mommy and yay! And on today's show, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're actually going to be doing a, a fun arts and craft activity and we're going to be making a beautiful fluffy white sheep. So, um, Olivia, you want to say something as well? You have a surprise, right? At the end that you want to show everyone? Yeah, there's a surprise. There's going to be a surprise at the end. Okay, so in order to get this beautiful arts and craft project started, we're going to walk you through all the stuff that you need. So, um, you're going to need one pencil uh, just to do the outline of the sheet before we color it in and glue things onto it. Just so it looks really pretty, you're going to need a paintbrush. And with the paintbrush, we're going to need white paint just to paint over the wool part before we stick something else onto it. What else do we need, Olivia? We need this paint tray. Paint tray to put the paint inside. We can just put that on the paper because then it'd be like a big blob and we might not need that much. That's right. And then we also need some tape and arts and crafts glue. Here we have some Elmer's glue, but you can really use any arts and crafts glue that you find. And then we're gonna use markers today. Uh, you can also use crayons as well. So here's our container with markers. And uh, we also need cotton balls. So here I have a bag of cotton balls and they're just regular cotton balls bought from the drugstore. Um, just regular size is fine. This is what's going to give the wool a nice fluffy texture. Okay, so it's going to be really beautiful and soft. These cotton balls are going to make it look really pretty. Um, scissors, and then we already talked about the pencil. So, I'm going to get started. You ready? So first and foremost, um, we're going to need a blue marker as well as a green marker. The blue will be to draw this sky and the green will be to draw the grass that the sheep will be sitting on. So I'd say that you have your construction paper and you're going to need to cover I'd say three quarters of it uh, with the blue color, okay? Because that's going to be the sky. So I'm just going to draw a line here and then Olivia is going to color it in for us, okay? See? Okay. Just going to make a line oh, right here. Oh, I some questions. Okay, so this will be blue so, and this will be green okay so i just outlined it for her where the blue goes and where the green goes so i'm going to give it to olivia what did you want to say sweetie you could also um, do some details as like a like a sheet that's sitting on the rock and you can put a sun that's true you could do that too okay let's do that idea. let's do that okay why don't i do the outline of the sun and I'll do the outline of the rock. Okay, here's the sun. I'll do the rock. So. What color you can use for the rock? Well, I'd say black. What do you think? Like black That's outline? a little dark, purple gray. Gray? Okay, do we have gray? Yes. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, yeah, hey, gray's gonna look so much nicer. Here's a gray. Okay, but it's awesome. dark gray. So remember, this is where the grass is, okay, on the bottom. So on the bottom is where the grass is, so I think the rock should go somewhere on the bottom where the grass is. Make sure you don't have a rock floating in the air <laughs> in the sky, right? That would look silly, so just draw it. I'll draw it right over here. Yeah, sounds it's good. gonna look nicer. Okay, so I think I drew a rock. And now we're going to color it in. So Lydia, color your rock in, please. Should we like to paint it like a dog peed on the rock? That'd be super funny. Okay. Um, you know what? Just maybe not, because I don't know if everyone's gonna know what that is. And we're trying to focus on making a beautiful white fluffy sheep. <laughs> so why don't you just color your rock in? And we'll start with that. So Olivia just finished coloring, so we want to show you what this looks like. She did a beautiful good job. So you have your sun and you have your rock that you drew and the grass is on the bottom and the sky is on top. So it's not perfect, but it doesn't need to be because the focus of this uh, picture will actually be the beautiful white fluffy sheep. 
So that's what we're going to focus on. Okay, so this is just the background, just so it doesn't look plain in the back. So you did a really good job, Olivia. And we're going to start to the next part. So I'm going to put this down here. Let's put the glue to the side. And so next up, you're going to need your pencil. So we're going to use the pencil to draw the outline of the beautiful body for the sheep. So I'm going to do it, okay? And then you're going to paint it in, and we're going to show them exactly how to do that. So the body, we want it to be nice and big to fit uh, around the picture. Frame the picture nicely. And don't forget the surprise. Because if you think it's over at the very end, it's actually not. It's only one more part. <laughs> That's right. Olivia is excited to show her surprise to you guys. Alright, so we're going to draw a beautiful round oval shape. Kind of like a circle, that right? That sheep is fat. Well, we wanted to cover the whole page, right? Because we want to make the sheep as big as possible on this page. And now page. we're going to look like a circle. Hold on. With a small face and a small feet. <laughs> but then a big tummy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can't really see it here, but I drew a circle. So um, an oval shaped circle. Um, and what we're going to do next is I'm going to take the white paint, right? And Mommy's going to pour it here for Olivia. And Olivia is actually going to I'm take her paint. Papers. And it's a rare paintbrush because it has sparkles on it and it's clear. Yes, it's beautiful. So Olivia, you're going to dip the paintbrush in here and you're going to just dab, do you see the circle? Inside the circle only, okay? okay. All right, go for it. Show them how it's done. And you love it. Yeah. Make sure you cover it nicely. So it's only stay within the lines. The oval shape. We don't want to go over at all. Beautiful. Good I job. Need some more. Yeah, you, you do it. You use as much as you need. So this is just going to be the background for the wool sheep. Um, we're actually going to cover it with cotton balls on top. But we just want it a little bit lighter than the background, so um, yeah, that's why she's doing that. When you also do arts and crafts, um, if you don't want to waste glue, then you could put a lot of paint um, on the genre you need, and then you can just stick whatever you want on top of it. Yeah. It doesn't stick that good, but it sticks pretty good. Yeah. We finished painting in our white paint, and I'm just going to show you what this looks like. Um, as you can see, you can see through the blue and the green, but that's okay because really we're just using this paint as a guide for where to stick on the cotton balls. So it's not as blue and green, and uh, yeah, that's okay. That all will be hidden nicely with beautiful white fluffy wool. Okay. Time for the glue and cotton balls. You got it. Actually, you know what we're going to do first is we're actually going to let this dry a little bit. So in the meantime, we're going to get started on cutting out the face of the sheep. It's open. The ears. Oh, okay. The ears, the, the face of the sheep, as well as the legs, okay? So this is going to be drying on the side. And we're going to get to the fun part now, making the face. Could we put a bow on its head? Sure, so let's do that. Yeah, why don't we do that? Can I make the bow? Sure. I'm perfect with making bows. Okay. I drew an outline. Olivia, what do you think? Outline. And you're actually going to cut it for mommy. Okay, so here is the outline for the face of the sheep. Okay, so it's just cute little ears and then a head. Okay, it's quite big. I know, but it's going to look really cute. So Olivia's going to do the cutting for us. Yeah? You ready? Let's put this on the side. Cut you away. Cut, cut, cut. Okay. And then you Let can me just fix away. the ears. <laughs> All right. Just... Also, can I call the people, um, what should I call you guys? Who, who you're watching us right now? Who should I call you? Your friends? Because really, no, it's like friends who are watching you. Watch with the scissors, please be careful. Friends who's watching me, like what should I call them? I can't just call them every single night, I'll be too busy. Just call them your friends. 
the friends who are watching you. What about best friends? Yeah, you can do that too. Call them whatever you feel like. Okay, so here are... I'll just call you guys that, all right? Okay, are you okay with that? If you are, then type it in the comments. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay, go cut. Cut it around. Be very careful. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to make it easier for you. I'm actually going to cut this into smaller piece of paper so it'll be easier for you to cut around and it won't be as difficult. Parents, you can do that at home as well for your kids. You find that it's easier if you make the paper smaller and then get the, your kids to cut uh, the shape, okay? Because if there's a big piece of paper, then it's harder for them to maneuver with the scissors. So here you go. Put the straps to the side. Okay. Be very careful. It's easier if you start cutting on this side, you know that, right? Okay, maybe you got a good handle on it. Pretty good, Olivia. Here, Olivia did a great job of cutting out the head. You guys see, it looks beautiful. Good job, sweetie. And now, next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the eyeballs, right, for the sheep. So you know what? I have a little trick that we're gonna use. In order to make the eyeballs the same size, I'm gonna take a leftover scrap from cutting the head of the sheep. We're gonna fold it in half, and yeah. I'm just gonna draw one circle for the eye. And then when you cut it out, then it'll actually be both because, yeah. and because it's folded. And when you fold it, there's you two cut pieces it, of the paper. Two. You got it. That's right. And then I love doing that just because it makes the eyeballs the same size. And if they're the same size, then it looks more symmetrical, right? And all our faces are usually symmetrical. Symmetrical. So it'll just look a lot better. construction paper. I folded it four once to give us two sheets of paper and then once again which gives us four because a sheep has four legs and I just drew it out and I cut it out and here yeah. you have four beautifully perfectly shaped um, legs for the sheep. Okay so this is what we're going to be using. You could um, you can comment if you if you want the, if you want me to open both surprises or just one surprises, one one surprise is the big one, and one surprise is the other one, you can tell me which one you want in the comments. Okay, cool. Okay, so Olivia, I'm having another project for you. We are. Right, I need you to um, color this face black. Yeah. Okay, as well as <laughs> black, yes, yeah. as well as these perfectly shaped uh, legs for the sheep, okay? So here you go, that's your job. Paint it, and I just put some construction paper underneath for her, just so she doesn't... Speaking, it's not actually construction paper, it's just normal paper. Regular paper, okay, you're right. So try to paint every, every part that's white, black. Okay, so, so we are finished. we are done with the head. Yes, let's show them a head. Beautiful, beautiful, nice close-up head. We just, uh, she colored it um, in black. And then show them the legs. The legs. I'm only going to show you two at a time. There you go. This is what it looks like up close. Good job. It's covered pretty well. All right. So, the next step. Eyeballs. Eyeballs, yes. But before we glue the eyeballs on, um, we're actually going to... Take the head and we're gonna glue it on the body, okay? Because then once we put the cotton balls on top, we wanna see exactly where the head is, okay? So the head goes first. Actually, we can put the legs on too as well. So let's open the glue, sweetie. Let me open the glue for you. Let me open the glue. Let's see if it works. Okay, good. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna put glue on here. 
Are you going to stick it on for mommy? Yep. Stick it. Sticky, sticky, icky. Okay. All right, ready? Icky, icky, icky. Hey, so. Okay, ready? So, I think it should go in here. Okay, you want to press it down? Good. Press it down gently. And then we're going to put glue on the legs as well. And I'm going to give you them to put down. each other. One, you want to do one, Olivia? No, you do it. Want me to do it? Yes. My hands are full of yuckiness. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you look up closely, you can see the far away it gets. Alright, so I got two. What do you think, Olivia? That's good. Okay, let's show them what it looks like. So here is what this looks like now. We put the head on, we have put the four legs on, and we have the outline of our body. And we're actually going to start and put on the beautiful, soft wool on the sheep, okay? So we're going to use the cotton balls, and you're going to do the eyeballs. And I was going to put the eyeballs on first. You want to do the eyeballs first? Okay, sure. Wait, so let me just see. I think way. this is good. Okay. 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 Right. Put some glue on. Go ahead. Oh, they're so good at doing this. You're so careful. This is going to be one beautiful sheet. Okay, go ahead. Make sure it's evenly spaced. See? Oh, that looks so good. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Now we need to turn it on. Later on, later on. Let's put on the cottons. Yeah, let's do the cotton balls. So let's Ooh, take some cotton balls. How yucky though. Okay. Gooey, gooey, gooey. We're going to take them on the side. And. My hands are dirty. That's okay. Mine are too. But it's wet. It's wet. Huh? It's wet. Yeah? I can't touch it. That's okay. You're going to take these cotton balls and you're going to start sticking them on, okay? We'll do it together. My hands are wet. That's okay. It's fine because we're only going to get messier with this glue. Okay? Ah! Take it. Ah! Oh, look, it already put on itself. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Good job. How about I pass you? Oh, I'll pass you. I'll set to you. I'll put the glue on the cotton ball and you stick it on. Okay. There you go. And then you're going to take also one cotton ball. One sec. And then you're actually going to take it and make a tail out of it. So you're actually going to um, place glue on it and put it at the end Woo! of the circle. Okay? I had some stuck on my hand. That's okay. We're going to wash our hands after when we're done. So no big deal. Okay? Keep doing it. You want to cover the whole white body with nice, beautiful, fluffy cotton balls. Okay, so it looks like wool. Wow, this sheep is looking really good, Olivia. Yeah. But remember, we will put the bow on. That's right, we have to make a bow, you're right. I think that's enough, it's so a little too busy. I think it needs a little bit more. Maybe just a few more, and then we can finish. Okay, let's make sure that it's evenly spaced, so it looks a little bit better. Yeah, so so fluffy, right? Here. I press it down. I'm going to press all of them down. Sure. And put them on. Press, 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 press. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna think we're doing good. Okay, 
polish up. Wait, Don't there's... get too much color on it, okay? I think it's okay. It just needs to dry on its own. I think he did enough pressing. Oh. All right. So what's next, Olivia? What's next after this? <laughs> yeah, hands are got a little bit uh, dirty. The eyes. The eyes, right? So we're gonna take black piece of, um, sorry, a black marker again. So first, let's show them what this, what this sheep looks like. So this is what it looks like. Olivia, doesn't that look beautiful? So see, look at that. It's got a little tail here. We covered it with uh, cotton balls, the body. Um, now and they're also yucky. Yeah, we're gonna take our black marker and we're gonna draw the eyeballs, right? The black part of the eyes for the sheep. So I'll do it just right in the middle. Tiny little black <laughs> spots. Funny. I was like, oh, what's that? <laughs> okay, so let's turn it around. Show everyone what it looks like. See that? We drew little Okay, so we're almost done a beautiful white fluffy yes. sheets. The only thing we have left to do is put on a pink bow. Olivia, you wanted a pink bow or a red bow? Pink. Pink? Okay, and then we're gonna add the mouth. So with, with some orange and pink polka dots on it. Sure. You can say. Sounds good. Okay, so for the mouth, we're gonna take our paintbrush again. We're gonna take our white paint and we're just gonna dip it in here. And we're just gonna create half a circle for the mouth. That's it. And then we're gonna let it dry. Mouth. Yeah, it's gonna look really nice. And we could also do it. Okay, so we have our mouth, and we're just going to flip it over. There's our beautiful mouth for the fluffy, fluffy sheep that we made. And we're going to get to the bow. So we need a little bit more paper. So Lydia, do you want me to do the outline for the bow, and then you can cut it out? No, no, I want to draw it. You want to draw it? Okay, you draw it here, and then you can cut it out. When you're done. Uh, so go ahead. Just, like, draw it um, I mean, I think it has to be like a bigger piece of paper. It's not going to show up on there? It has to be a bigger piece of paper. This is too big. Okay, let me get a bigger piece. Okay. Uh, like a bigger and longer piece. Longer piece. Okay, can you draw it on here and then cut it out? Okay, okay so draw it on there with your pencil. You go for it. We're just using a scrap of paper because we don't want to waste any more unless we have to. Olivia's going to draw her bow. Oh, that's looking really good. All right. I'm just gonna take this time to fix the mouth a little bit. There. I'm gonna do two bows just in case one is, one is better than the other one. Oh, okay, and then you can choose which one you like, right? Yeah, I that's a great idea. Answer. Here's one bow, and here is another that you, and that one looks a little bit like candy, doesn't it? So I say we use this one, but mommy's gonna have to cut it out for you, okay? So it doesn't I, fall apart. I did, I used, I used like a polka dot on, on this one, because I thought like real bows, like they have circle stuff in them. Yeah, that's true. But I think I'm just going to cut this one out. I want, I want this one. You want that one? Okay, so I'm going to cut this one out. Um, let's see. Your job right now is to color it in. So whatever color you want, okay? So here are your markers. So you're going to use this side to color it in, okay? Let's put this on the side. We're not using the paint anymore. So let's put it on the side. No more distraction. Yes. Time to do the bow. Okay, go for it. Where's the bow? Oh. That's the side. No, it's the other side. It's the other side? It's the same thing. you tell me that it was just... It's going to show the pencils on it, okay? So I want you to color it on the other side. Okay? So here, go for it. You want for the bow. 
and then we're gonna stick it on. And then we're gonna turn it into a girl sheep, right? Because girl sheep have bows on them, right? I don't think you'd ever see a boy sheep with a bow on it. I mean, you could, but you know, usually girls, right? Olivia wants to make this a girl sheep, so that's what we're gonna do. So I use pink, okay. now orange. Turn this beautiful sheep away so you can see it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So okay. cute and so Orange fluffy. done. Orange done? Okay. Perfect. Sounds good. Can you just uh, paint it in a little bit more so you can see it? I have a bow tie. Okay. You have to paint it in a little bit more, okay? Just so it's more colorful because right now you can't see the colors very well. So I suggest just. Uh, Making it a little bit darker and covering more of the white. There you go. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, it's beautiful. Looking good, looking good. We can't wait to see what this looks like when we're done. Alright, you cover that pencil mark on it, okay? Put it the pencil marks and cover that. Perfect. Alright, looks good, sweetie. All right, so let's show them our, their, your bow, your beautiful little bow, and I'm gonna stick it on. And I'm just gonna put some Can glue. Can I choose this spot? Of course, since you made it, yeah. So you choose the spot. So go like this, watch your fingers, and put it wherever you want, around the ear. Make sure it's touching the head though, not the sky. There we go. It's like, good job, Olivia. It's all done. It's all done. Yeah. Wait, are you fully done? I think so. Time for your surprise. Okay, so Olivia wants to show you her surprise. I'm just going to show you the sheep. Oh, did really you call really it? Close What's up. Is it a I just dressed it up right now. So this is the doll. And show the shoes. Yeah. Cool. It also came with more clothes, I think. And this is the clothes. Cool. Look at all those clothes. What does it have there? It has a hat, it has shoes, it has skirt, pants, jacket. Glasses. And glasses in another way, right? So and, cool. and also a pink shirt and skirt. Yes. And a jacket. Okay. And oh, oh, also oh, some socks. Some socks, show them the socks. They're so cute. Love it. Um, Let's put a hat on. Let's put a hat. Let's put the hat on. I love I love her with the hat on. So go. But I love her with the shoes. Can you? Here, show them what the, it looks like with the hat. So cute. I like her because her feet are flexible. Yeah, that is cool, right? So that She's like a national. This video. And we are finished doing our sheep. So if you like, you can do this at home as well. It's very easy. And that's all for today. So let's say bye-bye.